The largest cryptocurrency hack in DeFi history has happened recently. In fact, over $600 million was taken by a hacker from Poly Network. And the hacker went from probably not even being a millionaire to having over $600 million. However, something absolutely insane happened and the guy returned the money. So what led up to this? How did this happen? In this video, I'm going to dive into it. But before I get into it, make sure to like and subscribe for more cryptocurrency videos. As I mentioned, Poly Network announced on Twitter that they had been hacked and they had about $600 million taken from them by this hacker who exploited this bug and managed to take the money in cryptocurrencies from Poly Network and put it into his own wallet. They basically posted on their Twitter, on their public Twitter, that they had been hacked and they were asking for the funds to be returned and if the hacker does so, they won't persecute him. In fact, they'll even give him a 500k reward. The tweet was widely ridiculed across the internet, like it was memed so much. So this was seen as something absolutely ridiculous, like there's no way this is going to work, what a load of nonsense. And let's be honest, for quite a while, Poly Network was the butt of the jokes, like things were looking pretty bad for them. But cracks were beginning to show in the hacker's plan. When you have that much money and that many eyes looking at you, and when it's in cryptocurrency, every transaction is on the blockchain, so pretty much anyone can track this guy's wallet and see what he's doing with this money. It ended up that a lot of the centralized exchanges blacklisted him and he couldn't really transport the money onto a centralized exchange because as soon as you do that, the KYC would kick in and you would be pretty much immediately arrested if you attempted to put that on Coinbase, for example. So the hacker basically was in an interesting conundrum. You know, he has tremendous life-changing money. He just can't do anything with it. If that's too theoretical to accept, imagine you're in Colombia and you come across one of Pablo Escobar's hideouts where they dug a bunch of holes and put money in there and you come across that. You know, what do you do? What the hell do you do? There's not really a good answer. You know, you could spend the money, now you have a huge target on your back and there's pretty much no hope for you, or you can ignore it and just say goodbye to tremendous amounts of money. The hacker was in this situation where he had lots of money but he just didn't really have any way to deal with it. There's ways to actually launder money in crypto and basically make it harder to track what you're doing. But when it comes to $600 million, it's, it's not easy to hide, especially with a public case like this. So the hacker actually sent a bunch of contradictory messages. It seemed like he was in kind of two minds about the whole situation and even going as far to say that he's ready to return the funds, which a lot of people just assumed he was frankly bullshitting, but he wasn't. <laughs> the funds are actually being returned and the hacker actually sent the majority of the funds stolen back to Poly Network. It does look, for as stupid and meme-worthy as Poly Network's tweet was, it does seem like it actually worked. If you would believe it, Poly Network were being clowned on so much, but it actually looks like they got a W out of this. I think the hacker realized that if he tried to spend any of this money, he would just instantly get arrested. There's no way to hide putting $600 million on a centralized exchange and just taking it out, even if you do it in increments. We can all see what his wallets are doing on the blockchain. But yeah, this is one of the craziest stories in cryptocurrency history. Only in crypto would something like this happen, where a thief would make out with over half a billion dollars and then decide to give it back. Like, there's not many <laughs> industries where anything like that would even happen. In terms of, like, money heists, this ranks up as one of the top five. Definitely the biggest in DeFi history, just a, a funny, crazy situation that would never happen outside of crypto, but it happens here. Apparently the hacker decided to decline the 500k reward from them. I think that's kind of a wise move because let's say that they're trying to bait you into revealing your identity. Well, now you're giving them power over you where they could legitimately mess with you if they wanted to. They would well be within the legal right to just send this guy to prison. So probably a wise move, like if I was the hacker, I think I would just send the money back to and silently leave. <laughs> like I wouldn't ask for the 500k reward either. It just seems like a bad idea and not really worth it. It's kind of weird that the hacker finessed over half a billion dollars from Poly Network, and then Poly Network then finessed that money back. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.